So there's this curse that goes something along the lines of, may you live in interesting times. And when I first heard that, I never got it because I was like, may I live in interesting times? That's exactly what I want. I want to live in interesting times. I want a life of adventure and discovery and excitement. I want stuff happening around me. I want to be a part of history. And then 2020 came along and we live in interesting times. And I suddenly understood why it is a curse. So as the projects and my hopes and dreams have crumbled around me over the uh, preceding months, I've come to realize that uh, although it is very tempting to blame the failings of my hopes and dreams on the circumstances outside of me, the things that are beyond my control, the truth is that that's just not the case. Most of the things in my world right now that are causing me heartache and uh, stress and strain, when I look at them, when I look at them honestly and truthfully, it's totally my fault. It's because of the things that I neglected to do, uh, the things that I should have done and that I could have done, but I just didn't do. Whether that be because of distractions, whether it be because of... uh, a sense of comfort and uh, apathy. This is, these are very common things here in Australia. Whatever the reason, is mainly because I failed to take responsibility for that which is within my control. And instead, I put my faith in that which is beyond my control. So I was leaving things up to chance, up to luck, hope, wishes and dreams. And as a result, coronavirus comes along, uh, bushfires come along, and those hopes, wishes, and dreams get knocked out. And perhaps this is happening for you too. I do appreciate that uh, the entire world is caught in the grip right now. It's caught by the throat of a pandemic of fear. And many people's lives and circumstances have changed dramatically. I can empathize with that. Uh, It is an incredible time for introspection because, well, at least here in Australia, that sense of security that we usually have is disappearing rapidly. People are losing their jobs. Uh, People who perhaps should have been looking after their health for a long time are realizing that. They're realizing that they screwed up. And that is the reason why I'm making this video right now is because ultimately this is like a big slap in the face that forces us to reassess the the effectiveness of our, our actions, the effectiveness of how we are choosing to live our lives. And I think that's an incredibly valuable thing. Because although I realize that many people believe there is this evil virus out there that is uh, plaguing mankind, intent on its destruction, I don't really buy into that. Well, number one, I believe viruses uh, can do a great deal of good in the world. I'm not saying that they are good. I'm saying that they, they can have positive consequences. And viruses have been chief architects in the creation of who we are and who we will become as uh, humanity evolves forward into the future. So I believe that there are great opportunities within this tumultuous time. And it doesn't necessarily mean that we need to abandon all hope. No, it means that we need to reprioritize that which is within our control and take action on those things. So what I'm talking about is perhaps you've had a really good job. It's been a very comfortable job. Perhaps now you're recognizing that uh, that was the time when you should have been investing your money, when you should have been creating a side business, something online, something independent of, of how you're creating your income today so that you have security in the future, so that you have security in a time like we exist in today. Or perhaps more importantly, you find that you have been neglecting your body and you were cash and checks that you couldn't repay. 
and uh, instead of taking that daily action in building a healthy immune system, in t instead of taking that daily action to invest into the temple that you exist in, the only body you're going to have for the rest of your life, you were taking it for granted. And today you find yourself in a precarious situation. I can totally relate to that. And uh, the beautiful thing about this moment is that we can use today to be day one of moving forward and taking the action that we should have been taking, but didn't. And what is more tragic than realizing that is doing nothing about it. And so there's a mentor of mine, uh, he's long dead, but I follow him on YouTube and read his books. And that is Jim Rohn. And Jim Rohn used to be a farmer from Idaho before he became a wildly successful entrepreneur. And Jim, uh, he, because he had that, that foundation in nature, he understood the cyclical existence that we have. And so he would always speak of the seasons. And so spring follows winter and summer follows spring and autumn follows summer and winter follows autumn. And so it goes. And so it has gone for millennia, for millions of years. And so it will continue. I don't know for how long, given today's uh, current climate, but it will continue for at least the rest of your life. And what that means is that there are cycles out there that we need to be aware of. And it's ironic that... Uh, the largest or possibly the most viewed TV series of all time, Game of Thrones, their main character in there, the catch cry was, winter is coming. And somehow we neglected to understand, or, or maybe we understood it, but we didn't act on it. We neglected to act on the, the realization that winter is coming. And winter is always coming. And the importance of Jim Rohn is he speaks of while you're enjoying the sunshine, the abundant sunshine of summer and spring, remember and prepare for winter because it is coming. That is the natural ebb and flow of our existence. We have the peaks and we have the valleys. And when you're on a peak, sometimes it's difficult to remember that there is a, a decline, that there will be a valley. And there will be an inevitable incline after that as well. And so what this video is, what this message for you is, is to recognize that right now we find ourselves within the heart of winter. We find ourselves in a cold valley. And not to despair that this is our lot for the rest of our lives, because it is not. It is just one of the many valleys that you will encounter throughout the rest of your life. And there is an incline coming and you need to prepare for that. And when you're at the top of that incline, you need to prepare and uh, create a side hustle, create a plan B, invest, save, put things away, preparing for the decline. That is my message for you today. I hope it is beneficial.